there. Good afternoon, or actually, it's good morning. Um, this is December 20th, 2021. Simply Des Moines 15 minute market update for the week before Christmas. Welcome to the show this week. It's going to be a little shorter, shorter than a typical show. I'm a little under the weather, so we're just going to punch through this this week and and uh, get through it. Uh, next weekend will be Christmas weekend, and we'll see what kind of a show I put out on Monday of next week, but uh, should be something to talk about. Anyway, thanks for joining me. My name's Les Solgrove. This is Simply Des Moines 15-Minute Market Update. Let's jump right in here and see what this week's top story is. Um, really, this week's top story is just kind of our, our year-end sales goal watch. And uh, we're at 94%. We're going to probably hit 17,000 closed sales this week. Uh, there's usually a pretty good surge just before Christmas. And that happens as people want to try to get in before the holidays. So I have no doubt that we'll hit 17,000 sometime during the week, but uh, probably not going to hit 18,000 before December 31st. But oh, don't worry, we'll we'll get there um, as sales come rolling in after the first of the year from December sales that are just kind of delayed. So I'm not giving up on the 18,000 closed sales, but it's just probably not going to happen within the December 31st timeline that we've got here. So uh, this week's week in review, really nothing much to talk about there. We are still ahead of last year's closed sales by about 960 homes. And, um, you know, at one point earlier this uh, month, we were a thousand sales ahead, which is kind of typical as we get close to the end of the month of, and the end of the year, we're going to start to see that number probably close in just a little bit. Um, open house traffic is also down considerably, uh, especially in the resale inventory. So pretty typical for the holidays. Of course, this past week, we experienced our second derecho in two years. God, we just need a break. Um, there was a lot of wind damage, not necessarily here in the Des Moines area, although I've you know, we've seen a lot of tree damage, a lot of trees down, but we were fortunately spared what Western Iowa and Northern Iowa was hit with. Um, but we still had some damage and, uh, it's quite the, quite the event this year, um, with that second windstorm. Um, as you can see for the week, we held our own. We're pretty close to exactly where we were, what we did last year at the same time. 170 was our uh, added homes to the count with 172 from a year ago. So I'm feeling pretty good if we can just meet uh, what we did last year as we close out the end of the year. And we do expect that number to, to tail off, obviously, just because of the holidays here. Our spotlight this week, just about three or four slides is all, and we'll end the show up here pretty quick. Uh, the, the topic this week is that time is running out, and uh, we are currently... Um, you know, in week 50, we have 51 and 52 to hit yet, uh, with Christmas coming on a Saturday of next weekend. Um, we're going to probably see the bulk of our business by the end of the year prior to the end of this weekend. After that, it's just going to be, um, holiday time again here, but we did have a milestone this week, and that is our median days on market. We are actually at 10 days on market. And if you look at this graphic, you'll notice that uh, it was all the way back in March was the last time we were actually above uh, 10 days on market. And, you know, I think that's just a sign that, that we are kind of slowing down a little bit. Um, I really don't expect us to... to make a big jump like we did last year. Well, it's a big jump considering where we were most of the year. Um, this number right here, these numbers, I think we're going to be below that as we start the year off just because there's so much buyer demand out there. So um, I, I really think we're going to see a, a pretty good repeat of, of 2021, at least through the first half of this year. Our back on market traff, uh, counts are actually up again a little bit here. Um, we're about 27% this week on back on market sales. And uh, so it's been kind of uh, up and down there too. Uh, whether any of the, the duration wins played into that this past week, it's hard to say. 
Um, but with so few sales, anytime you have some sales fall through and we have fewer sales, this number is going to be accentuated just a little bit. But, um, you know, we do have uh, 27% this past week went uh, back onto the market. So that's good news if you're a buyer looking for that house you might have missed, although um, you know, there's usually a reason why a home goes back on the market. So hard to tell. Sometimes it's buyer uh, issues. Sometimes it's seller. I think this is the last graphic of uh, the week here in the, in the spotlight show. This is just talking a little bit about the inverted market. You can kind of see I've, I've rearranged this just a little bit. Again, here's where COVID-19 hit back in March of 2020. And then when we went over uh, and crossed over back in June of last year. And it doesn't look like uh, at this point, if you look down here near the end, the dark orange and the green um, is where the sale pendings are versus actives. And I just don't feel like we're going to uh, cross back over before we get to the first of the year. In fact, I think as soon as we hit the first of the year, you can see what happened last year in sale pendings. They just started right off about the first of February and we're off like a rocket. So as long as we have decent weather, um, kind of expect this same trajectory. What would be nice is if we can kind of chase that number up with, with homes for sale, but it just, I don't know. It's just going to be a real tough sell this year to see if we can't get that. So anyway, that's our inverted market watch. So next week, I'm going to tease you just a little bit here. We're going to talk next weekend about the year over year median sale prices. And, uh, you know, we've, we're seeing some pretty good jumps this last couple of years. Um, I've got it calculated through 2021 to 2020, 2020 to 2021, and uh, kind of give a prediction of to where I think we're going to end up 2021 uh, median sale price percentage increases here. Um, it will probably be double digits, uh, maybe not, but we'll, we'll kind of see. So hopefully you'll join me next week. And in the meantime, enjoy your holidays, enjoy your family, enjoy your friends, stay healthy as you can out there. And we'll see you all again next week. Talk to you soon. Merry Christmas.